I've done rather extreme. I go, if it's in a bottle, box, or can, let's get rid of it. That's pretty harsh cleaning on the house, right? Somehow I always seem to find an exception here or there, but for the most part, bottle, box, or can, I don't need it. If you live more rurally, I mean, I got a good solid two to three weeks worth of food that I'm rotating around through my house and Rosie's going nuts because there's so much food in the house. I understand her concern that it's, there's a lot of food in the house, but she likes to eat it. Oh, there's no ripe bananas. Well, that's because you didn't want so many boxes of food in the house. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just, it's, how do you have ripe bananas unless you buy a case early? You got to really think. You actually, there's some, there's some intelligent thought. When I'm going shopping, I'm shopping for, I'm not shopping for this week. I'm shopping for next week. So what's in your freezer? Like in my freezer, if I don't have four, five, six bags of frozen bananas for that day when there weren't ripe bananas and I'm waiting because invariably, if you buy three cases in three weeks, case a week, ripe, ripe, ripe. And now you've just got so many ripe bananas coming and they're just, you don't even know. And then you go the next week and they're greener than green. And they're just like, oh, that's going to be a big gap between the end of these ripe ones and the beginning of these green ones. That's going to be a big gap for somebody in our house. And it's going to be me in our house because Rosie and Faye want bananas for breakfast every morning. So I not only shop for next week or two weeks down the road, I'm also eating for a day or two or a week down the road so that I make sure, because I like to be the provider. I like to be the provider. So I want Rosie and Faye to always have the right bananas. In fact, they like their bananas less ripe than I like my bananas. So I only eat the bananas that get past them. <laughs> right? If it gets ripe past their liking, then I'll eat it. But if I eat before then, I'm eating their bananas. That's never going to work. That's never going to fly. Rosie likes to eat bananas for breakfast and then not have lunch. She eats such a big breakfast. I mean, you got to understand, they're going to, they're going to muck out horses and feed horses and walk horses at 6 in the morning. They're coming home at 9, 9.30, 10 o'clock and having breakfast. So she'll go from that right to dinner. Fecheska won't. Fecheska's going to have two more meals before dinner because she's a 16-year-old athlete. She's hungry as soon as she walks away from the table. And Rozzy gets worried that that's a problem. She's on this raw food diet. She's always hungry. I've been, I wasn't on a raw food diet when I was 16, and I was always hungry. I remember that Rozzy doesn't really have great memory of 16, nor was she athlete because she was an actress. Fitter than anybody around, but an actress. And, and it's different, man. Athletes are hungry. I asked her today how she's doing, and she, and she said, I feel like jelly. I go, you feel like jelly? You had that, skating was that good, huh? She started skating at 7 in the morning on the ice rink that's an hour away, and she skated till 8.30, and then that's enough. Then she goes home, home by 9.30, to go do the horses. Spend an hour and a half with them, or two hours with the horses. And she said one of the horses just was not compliant today and just wore her out just she said I, I never had such a workout as she had today with her favorite horse so she you know she's getting stronger all the time but hungry 16 year old athlete is one hungry girl so she'll eat bananas for breakfast but then she'll have two more meals before dinner for sure she'll eat, she'll eat four meals and then she'd still like to have something before bed hard to imagine